here I've got a gas discharge tube. Uh, it's on. All you have to do is just flip the switch over here and you'll turn it on so it's off and just turn it on. This particular tube is full of uh, hydrogen gas. I have uh, a lot of different tubes back here that are full of various different gases and they're uh, at low pressure and so there's, you can see these little electrodes on the inside of our uh, of the gas discharge tube, little electrodes on the end, and the stuff inside glows uh, because of the uh, the excited electrons. They're excited by the, the electricity. So what I had kids do was turn this thing on and look at it and make some observations. Uh, they know it's electrified, um, but they don't know much else. So uh, in our investigation of atoms, what we did, we're looking at this and uh, we said, well, let's, what, what would happen? We think it's electrified and it's like gas. So let's see what would happen if we passed a really strong magnet by it. So what we have here, I, what I have is a, a neodymium magnet that's just, uh, that's just stuck to the end of some needle nose pliers here. And it's not being held by them, it's just being sort of stuck on the end. And I gave this to them to look at. And if you, if you move this by the beam, look what happens. Kind of interesting. You can see you sort of have this uh, aurora almost of, of uh, field lines. And although the camera can't see it, uh, when you zoom in on this little tight tube, you can see the very, very fine, fine field lines of the magnet. Uh, and over here, you can also see it. It's actually influencing the way that these, uh, this uh, substance, this glowing substance moves. It's kind of neat. That's not a reflection. That's actually the gas moving inside. So the value of this, what's interesting is that kids get to look at this. Uh, they know that uh, it's not neutrons. Right, because why would neutrons be affected by a magnet? Okay, they, they would assume that neutrons would be affected by a magnet or something with a charge. Magnets aren't really charged, but they kind of act like something that's charged. So it can't be neutrons. It can't be neutrons. It must be protons or electrons, parts of atoms. Um, and because it's plugged in to the wall and you flip the switch to make it go, they naturally assume, well, I guess it must be electrons. And so what this is, what's really kind of nice about this is that it uh, is an application of uh, Thompson's experiment where he took a cathode ray tube, which is basically what this is, uh, and passed some uh, charged plates by it, and he could actually see that it deflected the beam. This doesn't quite work exactly the same way. Kids, kids don't want to think that the magnet is, like, positively charged, because that's really not what a magnet is. Um, but it's just kind of a fascinating little experiment uh, that they did. Well, let's see what happens if we pass the magnet by the, by the gas. So it's a great way to illustrate uh, ways that we can indirectly make observations of atoms.